Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tui in the last episode. We uh, started off Hillfire Peaks and as you can see I am now in here as a stony. Welcome to the Coliseum Professional Kickball Championships. We like to do things a little differently here. Lowest score always wins. We're just about to begin the quarterfinals. So uh, yeah, let's do this. There's also something else that I uh, want to do in here. I did practice a little bit off screen by the way. <laughs> I finally figured out the way I usually do this. So uh, we should be good here. This isn't the Mayan League anymore. So uh, yeah, like the guy said, uh, we're now trying to get the lowest score here. So you're just trying to uh, kick these balls into your opponent's uh, in your, into your opponent's goals. You can manage to do that. Oh my god, we're already failing at this. Which is not good. Now the yellow one seems to be ahead, so let's give him some points. Yeah, if if you if you just got if you you guys just gonna like like kick balls to each other's goals, that's fine with me. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> that was easy. This is actually a second take because I find uh, I I kind of failed at uh, finding my way around Hillfire Peak. So, oh well, I do know what I'm doing now, so don't worry. So let us move on to the semi-finals. You're playing with the big boys now. So now, uh, you're gonna start out with, I believe, 50 points. And now you're just gonna kick red ones in, into uh, into your own goal. So it's pretty much like the, uh, like the first one now. Those flashing red ones, if you can get those. Those, uh... Those lower your score by two, so it's really nice if you can get those. And they're keeping up pretty well here. You might be in a little bit of trouble here. Wow. I sure kicked my ass that time. Come on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can make this. Oh no, you won't get that flashing red one. Oh I had I had a I keep Sometimes I, I have one and I don't see it for some reason. Yeah. A little closer than the last one, but it's still not too bad. And we've won our semi-final. Calcium Kickball final awaits. So now let us head over here. You'll never be the Coliseum champion. So with this one, it's uh, yeah, we have we have the red ones and the yellow ones now, like we did, uh, and we have the bombs too. So, well, we would try to kick those into their goals, or don't kick the bombs into. The, what am I saying? I'm I'm way distracted by this game. <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. You don't do that. The yellow one could use some points here. Man, I don't know how to commentate on this. Well, it looks like we got this, though. And <laughs> yeah, we definitely did. That wasn't too bad. I declare you the new Coliseum Kickball Champion. We got a trophy, of course. So uh, yeah, let me head back to uh, Wamba's place in uh, Mayahem Temple real quick and turn back into Banjo and Kazooie. I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. Now there's one more thing I want to do. And in order to get to it, we need to head up here. Now uh, we have some split pads over here, but we don't really need those for anything as far as I know. So, let us head outside, and this leads to that uh, Jinjo that we unlocked in the last episode. 
Well, well, that's how you're supposed to get them. For some reason, I thought I was already there. <laughs> oh. I thought I could make that, but apparently I couldn't. Well, that's not how you do this, dude. Uh, you do have to use the Wonder Wing to get to that Jinjo, though. Like, we're almost done with the brown ones. Uh, if I can, I kind of like to get back over there so that I don't have to go inside again. If I can do that. There we go. So now I say we uh, go uh, get that second war point that I uh, that I still don't have. Because that's going to make exploring this side of the world a lot easier once we do get it. And we do want to go up here, I believe, in order to get to it. Or at least this is... this. Well, this leads up, so... Well, don't fall. Whatever you do, don't fall. Or we should be uh, high enough to get to that... Uh, to get to the other warp point that I'm still missing. Yeah, we're... Uh, this is actually where the train station is, but we can't do anything right here now because we don't have it unlocked yet. However, this is where we do want to go. Because down here is where... Uh, down here is where the warp point is. And there's also split pads here, which uh, is going to be very useful. Let me get those notes first, though. Yeah, there's another pond over there. Can't do anything with that yet. So now we need to split up and get that move for uh, for Banjo that we saw in the last episode. Or at least I think we saw it in the last episode. That might actually be in the recording that I uh, had to scrap. Let us uh, regain some energy though, because we're kind of running low on it. Thank God, transforming into a stony recovered my uh, my energy there because. Uh, I was, kind of, I was kind of running low uh, on that uh, at the end of the last episode. So what we need to take Banjo is actually over here. And don't get hit by those hands because it's really easy to get to uh, get knocked off here. And there's another one back here. This one always gets me. I don't know why. So here's where our move is. The Shack Pack. This one makes you safe and small to fit through gaps in a wall. First hole Z and Empress down C, protected in liquid, you will be. That'll be all. So, actually, there's one more move for. <laughs> this is like the fourth time that happened in the LP. Usually that never happens. Oh my god. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, we do need to go uh, back over there, but I don't know if I can make that. That might be kind of a tricky jump. Well, I am back down here now, so... I'm not gonna take these platforms back up. Because there's something we need to do as Banjo uh, solo over here. There's a Jiggy we can get if I don't mess this up. Or actually, I think this is actually gonna unlock the uh, train station, isn't it? If I can get to it... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where... It uh, I'm pretty sure this is where this uh, where this leads to. If I can grip grab this. Yeah, this is where we unlock the train station. And that is one of the two train stations in this world. This is uh, the only world that has two train stations in it. The lava train station. Uh, be aware though, if you do call the train to this world, uh, he's gonna be overheating and you can't take him anywhere else, as far as I know. I think you have to cool him down first, and uh, I do think we need to make a jump from here, and it's a pretty tricky jump. I hope I can make this. Ooh, just barely. I think usually you're supposed to get that from the, from the kickball stadium, but it's much easier to do it this way. This will open up uh, a door over there, as you can see, which has a Kazooie switch, so... We need to get over there as Kazooie. Uh, Kazooie has only two health though. I hope I can make this. Yeah, we want to take Kazooie over here, so... And if we go over here, this is where it should... 
This is where the Kazooie switch should be. I think... I think it's actually down there. Yeah, thank god for Dragon Kazooie, because that makes this a lot easier. <laughs> Since she can uh, flutter infinitely. And that will open up the next door for, uh, for Banjo. Which, as you can see, we can grip grab to, so... Let's go take care of that now. And I think that will open up the Jiggy, or there might be one more switch for Kazooie, I forget. I do believe this, unlo this unlocks the Jiggy down there. Yeah, it does. There we go. So, <clears throat> well, since we're Banjo, we might as well do this as Banjo. Okay, that was kind of pointless. <laughs> There's our Jiggy, so let's get Kazooie back over here. Because I think we're done... Uh, I think we're done doing the stuff separately. So now we come back together, and now I want to head to the train station, because I do need to call the train to this world. And there's actually an empty honeycomb in there as well, so... I think the easiest way to get to the train station is just to warp. So we, we, already got two, we, got, we already got three Jiggies in this world, so we're making progress here. There's actually um, the warp points in this world. Uh, there's actually two on the fire side, there's two on the ice side, and then there's one in the, uh, in the middle of the world. It's kind of cool how they did that. So now if we take Banjo and Kazooie over here, this is where the train station will be. Whoa. Okay, get out of that stuff. <laughs> I think after that there's one more thing we need to do on the lava side. We need to cool down the, uh, the train and then we should be done here for now. I think we need to fly to that. If I remember correctly, the empty honeycomb is over there. I'm just gonna clockwork it because I don't feel like doing it the long way. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, we do need nine for that last uh, life extension. So uh, before we uh, before we leave again, let us call the train to this world. Chuffy's on freight service on to on whoa run the industries would like would you like Chuffy to pick you up? Uh, no, I just need you to get here. There's actually an ol there's actually a jiggy in the uh, other train station in this world, and the only way to get to that jiggy is to take the train, which is kind of interesting. It's gonna be the last train station we're gonna unlock, so that's one of the jiggies we gotta get. And you'll see once it gets to the uh, fire side, or you might not be able to see that, but the train will be uh, overheating and you can't leave the train station unless you actually cool it down. And uh, you prob you've probably already seen how we're gonna do that. Yeah, I guess they don't tell you. But uh, the train will be overheating and he can't leave until we cool him down. Which is something that I do want to do before we uh, before we go. And then we're gonna head into the volcano and do the stuff we need to do there. And actually go to the other side of the world, which is actually my favorite part of this world. So now we need to head up and I do believe we can do that from... Uh, well, not from there because that leads to a different... That leads to a different area, but, uh... There should be a door somewhere. Yeah, over there. Well, this leads down, doesn't it? Well, we do want to get down, because we need to get back to the fly pad. Hello. <laughs> uh, this might not be the place I wanted to head down to. I'm kind of butchering these jumps. I don't really know why. Yeah, we're going a little bit over time with this, but I do, I do wanna, I do wanna get those. Uh, I do wanna get that train cooled down before I leave. 
so that so that in this episode I will be able to finish up the stuff we need to do in uh, in in this area of Hillfire Peaks. So that in the next episode we'll be able to uh, visit the other side, which we could actually do right now because Mambo's place actually a way to the other side. You'll see why when we actually get to do that. It's pretty cool. So if we start flying here, right about the train station, there should be a place where we uh, can enter. I do believe there is. Oh uh, wait, we're not high enough. The train station is up higher. Yeah, right over there. You might... Okay, uh, so I do... So uh, apparently you can get over here... Uh, a different way, but I just like flying over here because it's easier. So now, let us cool down the train. Wow, it's now and now it's lagging. I, would, I expected to lag outside when I was flying. <laughs> Please, not my precious water again. Oh yes. Well, I'm pretty sure we didn't need to build drill him. Okay, can you maybe stop doing that? There we go. <laughs> oh no! Took me since the last game to save that. Ah, yes. That seems to have cooled my boilers enough. I'll let you take the chuffing train to the ice side now. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of a weird way to get back down, but oh well. In the next episode, we'll explore the uh, ice side of Hillfire Peaks, and it's gonna be fun.